I'm Carly Bridges, and I'm 17 years old, and I live in Hill, Nova Scotia, and welcome to my home club. Curling is a family tradition. With four generations of national level curlers, you could say curling is in my blood. Without the sport, I wouldn't be who I am today. Now I'm shining bright, so, bright. so who is Carly Burgess? I am a driven multi-sport athlete who not only strives to compete at a high level, but works to lead by example on and off the playing field. You said, girl, you got a dream, give it everything, gotta make him see it was meant to be. Don't you Family is something I really value, and I'm so grateful to have such a big, close-knit family. Our summers are spent on our family blueberry farm, where we provide local berries to the community. This environment and teamwork has led to a passion for community involvement in my life. I have volunteered my time in many ways, including community running events, rocks and rings, Timbit soccer, Little Rocks, and my school student council. Overall, I am an upbeat person who looks for the fun in any situation. I work hard and do my best to uplift, support, and encourage the people around me. Some of my biggest motivations in curling are the love I have for the sport and the people it has connected me with. I am motivated by the competition and the competitive atmosphere the sport provides. In life, I am motivated by my family and friends and the challenge of reaching my goals and dreams. My plan for my education is to attend Dalhousie University for a four-year undergrad and a Bachelor of Science of Kinesiology. From there, I hope to further my education onto occupational therapy. This allows me to help others to re-establish activities of daily living and improve overall life quality. And this will keep me close to sports. My goals for curling are to have the opportunity to represent my province again and the honor to play for my country at another world championship. My long-term goals are to return to a Grand Slam event and hopefully compete at the Scotties. A dream goal would be to return to a multi-discipline event such as the Olympics. Like Sandra, the sport has given me so much including the opportunity to represent my country, lifelong friends, and amazing memories. Sandra was able to introduce the sport to so many people and inspire young curlers to love the game. I hope to do the same as a Spirit of Sandra scholar, as well as with my fundraiser. My fundraiser event is called the Stars of Tomorrow. The main concept of this event is to pair young children with local curlers who've had success in men's, ladies, and junior events. The teams would play a two-on-two -two style game where they have the opportunity to learn and experience the joys of the game. This is really important to me as the Nova Scotia junior numbers are falling fast and I want to help to rebuild the sport I love. An entry fee and a raffle and an on-ice session with myself and my Team Canada teammates, as well as a silent auction, will raise awareness and funds for the Sandish Miller Foundation, as well as the sport. Because we all know, champions start small. So why me? First off, I'd like to express my immense gratitude not only for curling playing such a large role in my life, but for this opportunity to be involved with the Sandish Miller Foundation an organization that is outstanding in its ability to better the lives of those it's impact. Having a mom who is a nurse has really opened my eyes to how important it is to access the proper health care. I can't imagine the fear families have to go through when it's their baby struggling to get the proper care. And because of this, I am so grateful and proud of what the Sandra Schmiller Foundation does, so that every baby in Canada, born too small or too sick, has a chance to grow up to become a champion like Sandra. I believe I share some of Sandra's qualities, such as her intense passion for the game, and I strive to play the game with as much integrity, respect, and compassion for my teammates and opponents as she did. If in my curling career, I can have even a fraction of the impact Sandra had on the game, I would be thrilled. There is no one who uh, was as fierce and determined and driven to be the best. Calm, yet very excitable inside. She was never afraid. She was very grounded in what she did. Loved the sport of curling and loved her teammates. Sandra had a look in her eyes and that star power. I believe in the power that comes from a world brought together as one. I'm Carly Bridges and I would be honored to be a Spirit of Sandra Scholar.